Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a review on the first what if player that we're going to be doing. This is what if Roberto Pereira. We're going to be going through the card, his detail stats, clips and summary. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below which what if cards you guys are going to be picking up and trying out. And without further ado, let's get into the review. So guys, getting into this, what if Roberto Pereira left mid card, uh, 87 rated of course from Udinese. Now guys, overall, I played him in this team here. I played him next to Dybala, next to Benedetto. That review will also be coming out soon, so please do check that out. My first impressions of this card, pretty decent guys i do think he was a very good midfielder um very decent at left mid and i also tried him in the cam spot i wanted to see how he played in both of those positions and whether he was capable in both those positions as well without further ado though let's get into the review roberto pereira six foot tall high medium work rates right footed four star moves and four star weak foot six games played five goals scored and two assists so a decent return i think everything's pretty nice there the right foot is of course cutting in from that left hand side and finishing chances unfortunately does not have the finesse shot trait but still does have that going for him I played a couple of chemistry cells on him guys I put the hunter on him and I put the catalyst as well I felt like something that boosts his dribbling is required a bit more here guys because there is something a bit off about his dribbling in terms of how he plays as well but overall guys I would say this card is pretty decent and that he does a good job of playing both that left mid slot very well and that cam spot very well in terms of the key stats though guys the short pass very good and um, the acceleration and sprint speed pretty decent as well um, and his ball control is pretty decent now guys when i said there was one or two hitches with his dribbling it's when he's in tight spaces that he tends to struggle a little more um, the ball control is very good but when he's turning a lot the ball is a little loose from his feet and that does affect the dribbling quite a bit in terms of cons the finishing is a little low i would like that to be a bit higher and the rest of his passing game is is average it's good but it's not great um so again that's something to bear in mind now guys bear in mind this card will get a lot better from the upgrades as well so something definitely to take into account as well that all these stats are really subject to an increase and that's something that's very exciting about these cards as well um overall guys i would say that this card is a good card but it does need that last upgrade to be able to take it to that next level be that left mid in Serie A who is just a really top player really usable player especially until the end of the season or towards tots time um overall guys other than that i would say this card's fairly solid in all areas and finally we're going to get into the traits only the speed dribbler trait to talk about other than that no other traits to speak of so having covered all that we're going to get into some of the clips that i got with him so guys getting into some of roberto pereira's clips and what you guys are going to see here for the most part is me utilizing first of all in the in the first half of the clips his passing and dribbling um, as well as some of his shooting but mostly his passing and dribbling and then we're going to see again as well parts of his shooting too now guys overall i would say this card is pretty decent i wouldn't say it's a world beater of a card it's just a very good card and i think that one thing we have to bear in mind is that who he plays for uh is udinese now of course they could go on a mad scoring streak they could of course six goals in five games is it isn't a lot especially if you do have one really great game so i do think this card has the potential to be very special um, and maybe worth an investment as well because he could very well turn out to be one of the best left wingers uh of the game so far um, overall guys i do think that this card is really good in terms of the dribbling i did feel his ball control is decent but when maneuvering in tight spaces uh, there are a couple of instances where he pulls off very well but a lot of instances where the dribbling was a little loose the touch was a little loose more to the point and i think that led to the ball being a little bit away from him and people were being able to tackle him a little more another big con of this card guys was that strength i didn't feel like he was as strong as advertised on the card and um, i would have liked that strength to be a bit better however given the body type that he is and the way he's able to move i'm not overly surprised that his strength wasn't what it said it was and um, i expect it to be fairly low um overall guys again not something that really bothered me too much his creativity especially in that short passing department is a really good thing as well about this card and um, he's able to do little one twos quick passes through balls like that one as well got got a couple of assists for me i think it was as well um when he played at the cam spot uh, when he played in the left wing wasn't able to get so involved in the play played more as an outlet for goal scoring opportunities but when he's in the middle he's more than capable of doing a job there and i think that might actually be his best position as well um he's more capable i think in the middle of course than he is out wide whereas there's some players you can get the same level of output out wide as you can in the middle uh, neymar immediately springs to mind this card doesn't get the same level of output out wide as he does 
uh, in the middle, but overall still a very decent level of output nonetheless. You guys are going to see some of the goals he scored now, and a lot of them very easy finishes, but it's his attack positioning, his movement in the box, his speed uh, and capability, especially on that left foot as well, to be able to finish chances easily. Um, we did get a few of these left footed finishes where it was just very nice dribbling that led up to the chance as well. You guys can see here, does the defender there and a lovely left footed finish. And in this final clip here, guys, you're going to see one of my favorite bits about this car, just driving at the defense, taking on this man, getting ahead of him, staying in front of him and finishing in the back of the net. So guys, getting to this final uh, Roberto Pereira summary, 130k on the PlayStation, 111 on the Xbox and 174 on the PC. Now guys, these prices are very volatile. This will not be the price that it will settle at. So please do bear that in mind for when you're looking at these reviews that the prices will be altering throughout the week. And this is obviously just on opening day. So this will, of course, lower as the week goes on. Getting into his key stats, guys, of course, that acceleration sprint speed is pretty decent. His short passing is pretty decent as well. And his ball control is reasonable. However, guys, I think there are a few cons of this card which really do hold it back in terms of being a really capable uh, left mid and attacking midfielder as well. In terms of recommended chemistry style, though, guys, I would recommend boosting that dribbling boosting that passing and boosting that pace and so therefore i think the engine might actually be the best chemistry style for him just to allow him to be able to be elite in the passing uh, pace and dribbling categories and that really does give you a really solid either left midfielder or number 10 to be able to deliver some good end product as well for this player next guys getting into these similar sort of players um, I don't think Kukure is a lot more dynamic than this card. I think this card is a lot taller, a lot more of a finesse player rather than a dynamic physical player. Um, I, of course, I haven't. I have tried this Jones. I think Jones is much more physical again. So this player is a lot more slight in terms of. In, in, it's more like a cheaper version of Paulo Dybala. A cheaper, taller version of Paulo Dybala is where I would place this card. Um, I don't think he's as good as Dybala at any of the categories which are in this card. I do think Dybala is superior in every category, but it's a very similar style of player in how lean he is, how he's able to maneuver, and his general play style as well. Next, guys, getting into the link ability, and this is where things start to get good for this card as well. He's got some perfect links too, Dybala and Musso there, of course, um, but getting into the strong links, we've got the link to, of course, that moment, Dybala, uh, Crespo, Zanetti, Maradona, Veron, all those Argentinian icons that are in there as well. Lauturo Martinez, Papu Gomez as well, of course, uh, the card sitting there as well. As well as this Gerard De Lefeo, if you did want to play a 3 4 3 it's possible to link him in as well. Overall, guys, this linkability is pretty good. Uh, so I think that's something that really does play well for this card as well. Getting into the price comparisons between other players in his league, you, can, you guys can see sitting at 137k, this will drop. I don't know if it will drop as low as this Lauturo Martinez. I certainly do think he's better than Lauturo um, and he's not as good as Stefan El Sharawi. I think El Sharawi is a bit of a better player. But I think that this price is a very fair price and it allows you to link in a lot of nice players in the Serie A as well or just to build a nice Serie A team. This player really does fit in really well. Compared to Ribery as well, I think this card is a much, much better value. Uh, now that Ribery SPC might be gone as well. But just to kind of show you guys where it's sitting, I think he's sitting in a very fair price point. I think if he got to anywhere on around 100, 110k, that's a really good price for this card. It's an absolute bargain, and I would 100% recommend picking it up based on the Serie A comparisons. When we go to the comparisons between leagues, he says the same price as the regular Mane. I do think regular Mane is more dangerous than this card. But if we look up uh, second in form Carrasco, I think also is a better card than this uh, Roberto Pereira. Um, then again, we're getting into the territories of Ansu Fati, Stefan El Sharawi, Antoine Griezmann, those kind of players. Now, these icons, of course, he is better than, I think, all of those. But overall, guys, compared to across the leagues where there are some other options available, I don't know if this uh, Roberto Pereira does stack up as well as when you're just comparing him to Serie A. So that's something else to bear in mind as well. Which leads me to my final recommendation, guys which is if you're purchasing this card for a Serie A team, I think this is a really nice card to fit into your team. I think he can play the number 10 rule if you need him to and you want to switch someone else from the central spot out wide, say a Ronaldo, you prefer him out left. You can put him down in the middle, Pereira out left and then switch the two so that he's playing in the middle. 
um, I do think this card is very usable, very good card, um, especially with the upgrade that could come out of this as well. It could be a really nice card as well. Uh, that's something to all bear, bear in mind with all of these cards, guys, is the what if upgrades. If those happen, then these cards will be much, much better, especially this card. I mean, this will go to a really, really good card. Um, so overall, I do think 100, 110K, if it gets to that sort of price point, that's a real bargain for this card, guys. And I would 100% recommend picking him up, irrespective of whether you've got a Serie A team or you just need a super sub or something, just someone to bring on a bit of creativity into your team i do think that this card is a very good option for all of that hope you guys did enjoy this review if you did please do smash that like button and until next time i will see you all in a bit